I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. That works. Got one, I see. Don't leave him lying around. Hide the body as soon as possible. When his comrades come back from the roof, you don't want him being found. If they do find him, they'll be on the alert and things can get difficult. When you take a hostile down, hide... Alright, gotcha. So leave him right here, he'll be alright. I don't know. Go over here. Right and watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the... Cool. Yes, place.
It's fucking sucking his blood. Not an enemy. Calm down. My name is. My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? Iroquois Pliskin. <coughs> How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a navy chopper. Definitely not snake. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 truck. Uh, he was a shadow soldier, I'm pretty sure. So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. what's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. Uh. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? 
a Navy captain. You all right? all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood sucked a freaky. That was Vamp. Vamp. He's remaining. Vamp. A wizard with knives, as you saw. The, 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 oh. You mean the incident that made me... What about the other soldiers? Can't, Can't tell me, huh? Find my me. I don't, I don't smoke. smoke. Keep it anyway. It may come in handy. Take this to you. Thanks. Let's take a nap. Let's go find this place. Kinda just winging it. Oh yeah, I got a soap calm now. Nice. Another cutscene. Thank you. Man, th are those bullets even working? She's just standing there. I like this music though.
That crazy ass gun. Jazz is here now, so... I'm so sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier, too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now Wait. on removing those C4s oh. that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too, it's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you Colonel won't wake so up. Annoying. But nothing so seems fun. real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Raiden, you're needed on Strut C. Ah. 
Alright. NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Nav Scolio at Indian Head, also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Cheer. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Ryden. That's an odd name. Any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Ah, uh, fuck you, Colonel. And Rose. On the moon. There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is a C-4 bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. <laughs> Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That right. won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fed. Oh. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? Yep. That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. 
Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for Yep. He would plant it somewhere where a bomb would not be good. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell too. Take this. What's this? Security card issued to Shell personnel. The Big Shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Writing, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You need it to get next door to Shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. You were supposed to program a set of all access cars. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares, wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Marine Corps talk. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those head. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here, too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. Right. All right. I think this is the point where I can actually play it now. I want to make sure I got the blood on. Okay, yeah, it's on. Nice. It's the first one right here. Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskins reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. Uh oh. Okay. I have 
one shaft. Alright. I don't know how to hide from these things. for him. Got you, but whatever. Hold on. Kinda wanna get the... Never mind, I'll just worry about that later.
This is Raiden. The C4 found in strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No, there's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, right? I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think uh, it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell Pliska to watch his back too. Just hurry. Matter of fact, let's just go back in there. Not the wrong way. Uh, dang, where am I even supposed to go? Shit, I should have been able to grab you. It's the enemy. I need to oh, oh, oh. It's the enemy. I need to oh, oh, oh. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat, all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4 Spliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news either. Uh. These are sensor proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I will see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. OK, it'll have to be me. I have the level four car that'll get me into shell two in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. <laughs> that won't happen. I, I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb five years ago, I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And the church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh, so many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. Uh, I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well, I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield, and it's become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim, 
Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. Uh, what? I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Got it, Raiden. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs, then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if- Alright, nice. Oh shit. There we go. Got any rations? Oh, he does. Nice. I need to get that M9. I know it's in that one room. Be careful, there are Claymore Mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore Mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? Oh. You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X then. Mr. X now. Mr. X, X Why would it matter it if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution. Okay. Bro, what the fuck? Extra caution. Nice. Let me go, like, what the fuck? Dang! Ah. 
no, this isn't happening. Jack, you have to answer me. Jack! Jack! Nothing here. Gosh, dang it. And you miscited. Yeah, go ahead. Here, 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 here. Get back up. Got the M9 now. Ration placement. Alright, save the game real quick. What's up, Jack? I can't believe it. Stillman's prosthetic leg was all a big lie. Don't be too hard on him, Rose. But he's got no right to go around pretending he's got a prosthetic leg. That's an insult to people who really can't walk. Everyone's got their own reasons. Sometimes okay. you've got no choice but to lie. Yeah, You're sometimes right. you got I, I guess no it is choice necessary. But the Rose? It's nothing. Well, see ya. You've been able to grab me. It's the enemy. I'm here. Oh, oh, oh. Me. I need to oh, oh, oh. 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 Communications with the first floor strut A have ceased. Carry out an investigation. Oh, that's not the right way either. Okay. Alright. Actually I know where to go now. Just keep on going the other way. We jump by the shoes. Okay. Go the opposite way. Alright, this way. There we go. 
Should've just shot the camera. Oh well. Who's there? What's that? Who's there? Bullshit. Enemy recited. Requesting backup unit. Convenient, I guess. stairs. You can fall up the stairs in this game. Okay, so this is exactly what I thought it was. Fine. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! Freeze. You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. She's not doing what she did with Snake. Fuck that. I saw a female soldier. Russian. 
Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. She <laughs> Raiden here. The C4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Raiden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of Strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't. Jack. Oh shit. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot where I'm supposed to go now. Oh shit. Oh, so hiding in a locker heals your... heals your health? I straight up. So it does heal wounds. Nice. Good to know. I didn't know that. Not all the way though, I guess. But good enough.
shit. Oh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay, okay. Gotta go back over here. Oh, I know exactly where. Alright. I don't remember which one I, I missed. Oh, that's gonna spot me. Fuck. The last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4 and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I made the calibrations while I was in the pantry. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all. All right, cool.
am I supposed to go back over this way? Yeah, I guess so. See, shit is way much easier when you get them done. And I jinxed it. over there. Good. And we finally made it back. Shit. Peter, I have sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of strut A. How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live, which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Pliskin! No, no, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, uh, okay. Damn! That was it! What's going on? The detonator <laughs> just woke up. It's counting down! What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right, the one in Shell 1 should be counting down too. Hurry! What's the remaining time? 400 seconds. 400 seconds? Right, move! Get to the bottom of Strut A now! Okay. some rations I didn't pick up enough rations oh shit you know what I'm about to just throw a chaff this is a good time to just throw a chaff grenade I 
gotta just run straight through. there are there now uh. ain't nothing in here oh there we go Should have got those right. freaking M9 Listen. bullets up there. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has uh -oh. my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave With a seven-foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there. There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Pliskin, get away from Strut H as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. Stillman. Where's the bombs at? I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed. And the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high, but the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? Rescue the president. Get back to the upper level. Roger that. I kidnapped the president? What the fuck? Alright, well, I'm gonna say that next part. Later, I am gonna end it right here. Oh shit. Raiden, the terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. What? 
A hostage has been killed. Shot in the head. The they fuck? shot one of them on the roof, just to make sure we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the President. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt! They're all in danger! Jack, be reasonable. I know Aye. what you're feeling, but you can't save them all. No, not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin to come through? Well... Looks like he's turned his radio off, too. I can't complete this mission by myself. That man was not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. What do you mean by that, Colonel? Your mission must remain a solo effort. What about the SEALs? No second attempt? They haven't even gotten to planning that. All we can do is wait. In the meantime, you're our only hope. I understand. Raiden, go and rescue the President. You can start okay. off by getting to the upper level of Strut A. Alright. I'll do that next time, though. See you in the next part. Sorry.